applause because we're going to hand you over to the man of the moment and of course a very lucky man he is indeed too. Ladies, gentlemen, make a big noise for our groom, Dow. Wow. So many of you, so overwhelming. I can't thank you enough. You really, as you all know, I'm very laid back, so I haven't done a speech. <laughs> but I'll wing it. <laughs> done a list. Hopefully, I'll go by that. Ricky, what's your password? <laughs> 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 So firstly, I'd like to thank Donna. Well, me and Melissa, we don't hang about. We met each other. We've been each other for about three months. Before she was pregnant. Ouch. I ain't even met her father yet. So, we break the news. Ouch, yeah. <laughs> but they got over it. And I like the faith, Donna. I know I'm a bit of a knobhead. <laughs> but you took it a pinch of salt. Not only that, it was difficult times at the time. Didn't have much money. And I wanted to see every day of Jack's life. By doing that, she let me move in. So I appreciate that so much. That could be nice. Next, I'd like to thank the beautiful bridesmaids. Wow. You're looking lovely. It's been hard work. I took them all. I've put up with over 10 years. Higher maintenance. That's why I want a bridesmaid. Paige boys. Jack, even though you didn't get out there today, I love you. Proud of you. Love you loads. Edward, two years old. Well, Jack's seven, he looks like we're in. Little geezer. And Frankie. Well, which one here like you, boy? Which I have a lot. Ushers, I like to find the ushers. So I've been a bit rudy, rowdy. Last couple of days, you just put up with me. I ain't beat me up yet. So Dean, thanks very much. You've been there from day one. Most loyal man I've ever met. <coughs> Tony, even more lower. He talks me straight away, I think. We just see her off straight away. You like football? And we just took you off. You just took me in the family straight away. And I appreciate it. Ricky, or well, you like to call yourself Joey Essex. Nothing like him. Yeah, love you, bro. And then my mum. I want to thank my mum loads. You know, I was a little shit bag when I was a kid. Sorry for the language. No, she's been here for day one. She's, she's always there. Always loyal. And just, oh, I'm lost for words. But she knows how much she means to me. I love you, Mum. Dad. Well, Dad. Jesus, Dad. Dad, Dad, Dad. dad. <laughs> He still thinks he's 16. <laughs> but he's on his leg. Oh, God knows not where else. But no, I love it, Dad. Even though he's lazy, he still ain't got a driving license. He's nearly 90. <laughs> but he's still always been there, jumped on the train, seen every football match. And he's always been there. And I love you for that, Dad. <laughs> One special person who's an absolute rock. She has so many great children, so many children in her family. She can write a book. 
probably love to breathe after drink rolls. But that's my man. Absolute rock. I go around every day. And it's like nephews, nieces, we just get together like the old time. Old school, I love it. And she'll do dinner. And she'll count the peas. He's got ten, he's got ten, he's got one more. So long. And I don't know how she does it. And I ain't saying she's old. She's in her 80s. She's still running. Going down the shops. The girl can be half. Oh, the woman half man. She is. I'll be a proud man. I love you, Nan. And another one. He's absolutely my rock. I ruined his life a little bit, so he always protects me, so he missed the prom because of me. Someone picked on me, so he just said hello. Uh, but that's me brother. It's my absolute world. He's been through some tough times. We ain't gonna lie, are we, bro? He's been through some tough times. But he's got through it. He's got through it. And he's my idol and always will be. And again, a boy in the death can talk about him all day long. But he's my world. I love you, bro. And come on, I can't forget you guys. You guys, you come from everywhere. You come from Peterborough, Southampton. You swing in Swansea now, you probably moved, didn't you? <laughs> Where? Wilshire. Wilshire. Love you all. Dagnum, my Dagnum crew. They even got a coat. Everywhere, even the local people that are always loyal to us, round the school, made us welcome. James, Sandy, James, you know, everyone, Gary, you know, Lauren, Leon, everyone make us feel well. We've all made effort. Addy, one of my best pals from Birmingham, from Nigeria, like, stop saying that to him. <laughs> Bassan, Bassan. I've known him for about a year, just ear off, ear off. There's so much late geezer, it's unbelievable. That's why I ain't done a speech, hanging about him. Yeah, it's hot man. But no, I could go on and on, but it means a lot. Without that news here, it wouldn't be nothing. It wouldn't be nothing. And when we was planning a wedding, we thought, yeah, days, day people, evening people, no way, we are all equal. Day and evening, don't separate no one. And here we come, this man here, Aaron, not even looking at me. <laughs> but without this man here, we'd have got married in a shed. <laughs> he's, done, he's done so much. We've had little arguments, yeah, but he's put up with us. He's done well. He's got this place for us. At first, we had a little place in Adley. Oh my God, it's tiny. He's like, what's he doing? Like, like, you ain't got a fit beat more in it. And he's just took over. And that, it, we should have paid him treble the amount we paid him. It's unbelievable and it means a lot, Aaron. It means a lot. He, he gave us connection with the catering, the photographer, everyone. And he's put a lot of iron and soul in it. He's kept his call. Cool. And I appreciate that, Aaron. <laughs> Dion, she can't be here today, but her staff's here. They're putting this lovely food for 150 of you. And it's hard. So I have burned the food, so I do apologise if you're screwing up for a bit, but it's quite hard to put on a lot of food for a lot of people, but we've got a curry later. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Dion, and the staff. Well done. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> and next, this man, well, I'll be honest, he's too cheap. His price is too cheap for what he does. He's amazing. Anyone getting married, he's your man. Sorry, Richard, you're going to have inboxes everywhere now. But unreal. Not only that, it's his birthday, mate. It's a best thing about his birthday. Come on. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. 